Hello everybody, this is Xenoket H2543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, we've got our, both our artworks now. We, I did get a vision for the reinforced thruster. It said something about Kazat needing it to build a weapon. But, just so you know, you will need these for a quest later. We got some of the equipment you can get. Ended up fighting him a few times, but... He drops this thing as well, this is an anti-mech home weapon for Ryan that... You know, it's kind of nice, but not really. Aggro up 4 and HP up 4 are not what I actually want on Ryan. Ryan, is not do, Ryan does not do so well as a tank at this point in the game. He's starting to really lag behind. You want Fiora to unban tanking, for the most part. Even Ricky is better. Just do the Ryan's low agility, honestly. Anyway, back up to the first floor we go. Because we've got to keep going. I guess I should point out, I did get both healing energy and, la and engage now, since engage was the one I was missing. I don't really care about either of those arts, but I wanted to... I'm doing, com for completion's sake, we're getting all the art books. The, ener the item worms did respawn a bit, so I got a few more energy aubergines, zero hollyhocks, etc. Mossy panels. I did not put anything in the Collectopedia though. That's not what I wanted to do, I want Collectopedia. So, any new items I grab down there, like this Water Boatman, I got a few of those down there. They respawned after every time I fought him. By the way, that unique monster is one of the harder ones in this area, so. Definitely don't go for that first if you're not ridiculously overleveled. I'm gonna still go out of my way for item orbs because I would like a few more of these items. I think that's new. I think Scarlet Crawler is new. Yep. It is up four. We're filling in the Collectopedia. We only have a few more areas. We are starting to get towards the end of the game. We have a little while, especially with all the side quests that I still have to do. There are so many side quests that open up in the final chapter of the game. We're gonna push that button to make this spiral thing come out of the ground so we can walk up this. Monsters will always care, but that's the only things that will. No item more there, so I don't care. There's one, there's one up here that has to be. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. We're just gonna keep making our way through this area. Give me that. Another Scarlet Crawler, but that's okay. Um, this party actually works really well, even though they're not the best at topple walking, since I'm relying on Melia's spear kick and Fiora's days, and that's it. Which affinity do they have with each other? Because we did fight that guy a few times, and I used a lot of chain attacks. Yeah, I'm not surprised that Fiora and Melia like each other now. So sorry, Fiora. But we're gonna have Dumban here. Dumban is not as good at mech on stuff, but it's fine. He still functions as a topple walker. We just lose our daze ability, but we get more topples. Daze is very useful for getting rid of that guy, that one guy's talent art. 
gosh, this top five is not nice. But if Melia and Fiora can pull off a reasonable toppling toppling strat, I'm sure Melia and Dumban can do it as well. Anyway, we kinda walked around that. Mac on for a reason. Hey, sweet pepper. There are no landmarks on this floor, I believe. Cool. Mistaking me thought of as vegetable. You have Destroyer Salvation here. Now, Destroyer Salvation is interesting because not only do I want arc books from this guy, I also actually want some equipment from him. Because he drops a really nice piece of bot, a pair of glasses. They're not going to replace Melia's glasses. I'm just going to say that right now, Melia's glasses are staying, but everyone else, but for everyone else, because even Fiora can wear them, they are quite good. They have a built-in, they're very good, very strong defensively, about equal to the ruby glasses, which have been overpowered for most of this game. They're, we're just starting to get to the point where ruby glasses start to become a thing that you can just get. You can, there's also a ruby glasses farm, I think in this area, or the next area, it's one of the, an area coming up pretty soon. But I'm going to be farming this guy for glasses off screen. I'm going to kill him once on screen. And we will be coming back here to farm for all sorts of things. The video is not close to over, so we're not going to, you know, wait off. I'm just going to find my list here. We need Magnum Charge and Spear Blade art books from this guy. So those are the two art books that we're going to go for. This represents no problem whatsoever. I don't have time for small fry. Now, unfortunately, we can't really do that much damage without top of it. But there's no spikes. Other downside is that. But that's what we're looking for. Nice. 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 Yeah, this guy is 100% just so don't even bother. Manifest yourself! Wow. The Whiff Box! Melius! Not bad! Things are going to plan! I'm gonna wait for the next... Topple. 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 What? Topple. What? Topple. 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 Now. Now! Starlight Kick! Ooh. Dumb Man! Aha! Steel Strike! Double Topple. Ricky! Here we go! Topple. I don't actually need to heal with you. Which is cute. What the heck? He has a bunch of debuffs. Why not? Yeah, that's a cool 23,000 damage. Thanks, Ricky. We are at one with the battlefield! Freeze! I play! The wolf box! Ricky wants to try hard! Things are going to plan! That's his talent art, that's why we're not dodging it, by the way. His talent art cannot be dodged. Things are going to clash! Freeze! I am prepared! Spear break! 
I mean, this is basically the strat, is spear kick. Spear break into a starlight kick into the chain attack, from the chain attack, and then just topple. How many debuffs do I have? Just out of curiosity. We got bleed, slow, chill. It's not gonna scroll anymore. I mean, it's just those three, but that's still a lot. I don't think I need this. Really? But sure. Oh my gosh, we get to keep going? What the heck? Game. Oh, he's up. That's rude. If I'd known he was up, I was gonna use a... something else. Uh, Tempest Kick. Anyway, we got him. I'm gonna leave that chest there for now. I will be coming back between this part and the next part and farming that guy up, as well as any other unique monsters we see. I will also probably get some shade glasses from him, since I'm gonna want those. I'm gonna gra probably grab six pairs. This thing. Third move to engine room. We pushed that button from the wrong side. We did all that to plug that in, make it start spinning real fast. Also, we could turn a light from red to green. Day does not matter. Not in this area, at least. I wonder if there's anything back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get away, Mark, for the 
crit. This thing doesn't care. It's wonderful. There's so many things. So many enemies just don't care. made it to the bulkhead controls. Guess what? There's another unique monster here. Wonderful. I'm gonna take him too. This I'm not really scared no of any of these. Sorry, Randy, big my phone. How can this be? I'm basically hoping these guys don't have top of place. Uh, you just straight up just got up immediately. Next time you will succeed. And don't have to impulse! Right, we're gonna piss off some more enemies. I don't care. No one! Ricky knows what it next time! Nicely done! Are you awake? Take me like, like I know you're Ricky getting to me! No talk about it. Like, now is the time to unleash a chain attack! That's good. I don't care about any of the other enemies. They're not, they're not scary at all. Building within me! How can the ancient spirit of ice to me? Witness my true power! Show no restraint! Yeah, I would say that's enough debuffs. <laughs> you must have reduced top operation or something. We are at one with the <laughs> Ricky! Next time you will succeed. <laughs> Okay, all the random side enemies form one group, so 
We just get one silver chest from them. This doesn't activate yet. We'll be back for the gold chest to, as well. I'll probably farm. I'm gonna farm them up one at a time. I will double check what our books I'm gonna get from him, from Amaris Karka, while we're walking to the next like thing we need to do for the plot. Uh, Guardship for Viora and Rage are the two that I've dropped in for him. Anyway. What is this? This is a thing. Well, I think I have to hit this button first. Yay, we turned that switch on. And the other switch on down there. Yep. And that raises this up. So I can get down safely. We're gonna do a little bit more exploration before I move on. Or before the video ends. I'll probably open the bulkhead controls. I'm not gonna go outside, but we'll open the bulkhead. I can just jump off, I don't care. This is fall damage, whatever. Minor fall damage. No unique monsters here. You wanna climb up this wall. I honestly don't mind having no anti mecha weapons on. Like, it's not bothering me as much as I thought it would. Uh, if you want fights to be easier, of course, buy anti mecha weapons in the Mecha Village. They're quite, they're not that bad, honestly. And, you know. They'll help you party do damage. Probably not for Melia. Melia just really doesn't need one, but everyone else. Nothing here cares. We're gonna steal some ether crystals. Nice. Rare one. There's another memory piece. I'm not gonna say the number, it doesn't matter. That's some earth. How are skills coming along? Dumb has got his reduced weight of equipment. Cool. Ricky, you're still working on that. That is pretty helpful, actually. My current setup. Everyone's still working on it. On that little area. That's kind of a cool little secret area. We're gonna head back now. Just to, up to the this thing. We have to run around here to activate the thing, but we're gonna open up the bulkhead and that's going to do it for this part. Once I open the bulkhead, I will meet you back with all the art books and glasses that I care about. Arca did not respawn, which is perfectly fine with me. For now. I'll probably farm Amorous Arca first. Well, this is easy to get to. I'll leave it on. I'm gonna head to the other one. More obnoxious. And we've opened the bulkhead, and we can now head outside. to figure out how to get back to Destroyer Salvation. Probably here and then down. Genuinely, I think this is the fastest way to get down here. We're not going outside. Anyway, well, I can end the video off here. You guys don't need to see me backtrack to Destroyer Salvation. Next time, we head across this bulkhead. These people movers and go outside. After I farm 
everything I want from all the unique monsters that we took out this time. I'll see you then.